Welcome back, my loyal subjects, to more Trails of Cold Steel 2. Feral Fiasco here. Last episode, we pretty much explored the entirety of the ship. Uh, and now we're ready to let Acting Captain Toa know that we're ready to choose a destination. Got a destination in mind, Reen? I think these are the only places it'd be safe for us to land right now. Alright. Ymir. You can now travel to Ymir using the Courageous. And then, you can now travel to Nord. You can now travel to the Gorelia Proving Ground. You can now travel to the remains of Gorelia Fortress. Oh, and Legram. You can now travel to Legram. When you've decided where you want to go, let me know and I'll take you there. Will do. Thanks. Where right. do you want to go? Let's, uh, yeah. No Let's reason not to start gathering people in Legram. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah, we are probably going to be, uh, be skipping that after a little while. But for now, we just have to start recruiting people. The whole town is so much happier knowing that Lord Arsaid is safe and well. It really makes me want to knuckle down and get some serious work done. The harder we all work, the less he has to worry about like Grandma Lee's away. That's true enough. Hopefully Casper and Vivi are in the same places. Though, it'd be kind of weird if they haven't moved, given how this game usually is, but... Man, it'd make our lives simpler, that's for sure. Vivi is not here. Okay. It says she was last sighted in Legram, so we've just got to pretty much wander around and try to find those two. Oh! Or... The game can just tell us. Oh, you're back! Hey again, Vivi. No updates on Lin's whereabouts since we saw you last, huh? Not yet, at least. I've prayed for her to be okay more times than I can count. I even started watering the plants here for extra Adios brownie points. And they're still not doing very well. <sighs> I'm useless. Both as a gardening club member and as a human being. But I guess it's always been like this. I'm only ever able to do anything because I've got Lind, and now that I don't... I was going to invite her to join the Courageous crew, but asking her now might do more harm than good. Maybe Fee could cheer her up. She's not exactly a ray of sunshine, but they're in the same club, so she still might help. Okay, so I, I have to bring Fee in order to actually recruit her. Alright. Then I guess we'll have to make sure to, to swap somebody in for Fee later on, I guess. Casper... What what club was Casper part of? He's still in the same spot, but... Dang, I thought it would be way easier. Oh, hey guys! Ha! <laughs> nice to see you managed to find all of your Class 7 buddies in the Enry. Thanks, I'm pretty happy about that too. How have things been on your end? Still doing alright? So far, so good. I'd like to think I'm making myself useful here in the training hall doing whatever I can. Not that that's much, though. I'm basically just taking care of weapon maintenance and importing more when necessary. Allow me to thank you on behalf of everyone here. There's little more helpful than a properly maintained blade. Speaking of helping out, actually... Reen told Casper that they were looking for fellow Thor students to fight with them aboard the Courageous. Me? On the Courageous?! Well, I'd love to, but... Hey, quick question. Could you use the Courageous to fly over to the west? I mean, theoretically, sure. We could use it to fly anywhere. That's not part of the area we're responsible for, though. We were told to focus all of our efforts on the east side of Erebonia. Meanwhile, Prince Oliver and Viscount Arsaid are more than capable of handling the west. Even if we could go, there's a very real risk we'd be, uh, get caught up in something and shot down. Not my idea of a good time. Yeah, that makes sense. I just figured I might be able to go and see how my family was doing over there, that's all. Oh. I forgot that you came from a town near the shore over there. I can hardly blame you for being worried. Yeah, well, whatever. I'm sorry, but I'm staying here in Legram for now. I'm hoping I'll get the chance to head over there and check on them myself. Alright, that makes sense. I wonder if we can find out for ourselves whether they're safe or not. 
might be more inclined to come with us if he hears that his family's safe. Hmm, but how can we find that out? Our best bets are probably the radio or a newspaper, come to think of it. Radio's not really an option right now, but I can think of one newspaper that wouldn't be hard to get our hands on. Maybe we should pick up a copy from somewhere? Okay. So let's go to the shop then and see if we can buy a newspaper so we can get this guy. Okay. So all of the students themselves have a little side quest for us to be able to get them on board. So maybe Vivi's, it's not going to be as easy as just having Fee in our party. But if Fee's in our party, she'll be able to confirm for us whether or not that's actually the case. Okay, that's Cargo. Uh, we should have Machias on us when we actually go there. I don't know why I came here instead of the actual shop of this town. But it looks like Machias and Fee... Yeah, our state school training hall. Watto's store. Okay. Let's go. Up. Oh. Shop. So it's... This guy does not have what we're looking for. Okay, nope, Imperial Chronicle. And then the next Gambler Jack. Item. Where? Can we not? Wait. How am I to read these again? I think it's in the book. All right. That is wrong. Okay, books. Noble Alliance dominates in the West. Excellent news has come in from the Western Front, stating that the Noble Alliance was overwhelmingly victorious in their recent battle and has forced the former Imperial Army to retreat significantly. This marks a landmark achievement in the Alliance's ongoing efforts to put a stop to the Rebels. The Army's Press Information Center has issued a statement that half of the former Imperial Army forces in the West have been extinguished, and those... Oh. Wait, huh? Oh, okay. And those that remain are on the run. Thanks to our brave souls in the West, the Empire's return to glory appears to be closer than ever. A ferocious week-long battle. The battle was started by the former Imperial Army, which amassed a force of over 300 heavily armored tanks and plunged the nearby area into chaos. The elite Le Guin and Bardius armies set out to rout them, and at noon on December 6th, the battle finally began. It was clear from the beginning that General Le Guin and Brigadier General Bardius had the advantage, stunning both friend and foe alike with their indomitable strength. Realizing the odds were against them, the rebels tried all manner of cowardly tricks and stalling tactics to prolong the battle leading to a dragging out for an entire week, so they're blaming that completely on us then, whatever. Or I guess on the faction that we actually support that we're not really a part of. What brought their feudal resistance to an end was a pincer attack mounted by the two armies. The military press office reports that this was not originally planned, but they were able to work together in near perfect harmony, eventually doing away with those among the rebel forces. So did they kill them? Perhaps what stands out most about their latest achievement is how little damage the two armies sustained. It's difficult not to be awed by the sheer skill demonstrated, and personally speaking, I'm eager to hear more about their magnificent exploits in the future. The Azure Knight astounds all. The Noble Alliance's elite Azure Knight also took part in the battle. Reports note its appearance in particularly difficult battles as it definitely turned them around in the Alliance's favor. All details regarding it remain classified, but eyewitnesses suggest that its capabilities are so out of this world that it brought to mind the great knights of Erebonian legend. With General Le Guin, Brigadier General Bardius, and the Azure Knight fighting on the same side, it's plain to see the Noble Alliance's overwhelming victory is anything other than an inevitability. The end is in sight. With the battle over and three more cities, uh, cities subjugated as a result, the moment we citizens of Erebonia have been ever uh, have been waiting for is soon approaching. The Noble Alliance's ever decisive victory is near. Reports suggest that the battle initially began near the coast in the Lemaire province, but as a result of the rebels retreating, it primarily took place further inland. While the number of refugees unfortunately kept growing over the course of the battle, the height of danger never reached any densely populated areas, and as such, civilian casualties are currently thought to be minor. 
society, conflict near the Twin Dragons Bridge. The lengthy conflict between the Kreutzen Provincial Army and the 4th Armored Division seems to be showing no signs of letting up. The 4th Armored Division was known as the strongest division of the former Imperial Army, but due to their continued resistance and refusal to stand down, the Provincial Army has had no choice but to label them as a rebel army, raising tensions to a new height in the area. The 3rd Armored Division is also refusing to end its unlawful occupation of Zender Gate to the north and has yet to respond to repeated requests to disarm. Huh. Between these two divisions, it's likely that a state of confusion will remain in Eastern Erebonia for some time to come. Politics, Imperial government negotiating with Crossbell? There have, been recent, uh, there have recently been reports that say the Imperial government has reopened negotiations with Crossbell. One government source suggested, Crossbell's actions were cowardly and unforgivable, but that does not preclude us from negotiating with them. The demands in these negotiations are likely to include withdrawing the state's independence declaration, dismantling the Crossbell Defense Force, and unfreezing Erebonian assets held by the International Bank of Crossbell. However, Crossbell's crimes are still fresh in the minds of Erebonia's citizens, and I think I speak for everyone in praying that the government will leave the negotiations with a firm hand. Yeah, okay, bro. Incident. Courageous is- oh. Courageous's whereabouts still unknown. The Imperial family's cruiser, the Courageous, remains unseen since the outbreak of the war. Reports have suggested the airship is currently being used by a private group for an undisclosed purpose, but the Imperial family has been keen to remind the public that its current duties are in no way official, which may suggest that those aboard are guilty of no less than treason against the state. The Noble Alliance is urging any citizens with information on the ship's whereabouts to come forward. Uh, Panther World Tours of Nation. Western Erebonia has been a hotbed for, uh, for conflict since the beginning of the war, but the Noble Alliance forces have warned that the coast of the Lemaire province is likely to soon become the center of yet another large-scale uh, battle. Upon reaching out for comment, a spokesman for the Alliance forces said, Several rebel forces have joined together and seem to be planning to launch an attack against us. We intend to dispatch them with all of our military strength. We strongly recommend that residents, uh, residents in those areas evacuate as soon as possible. Uh, Azure Knight. Uh. uh. Okay. Um, none of that was probably good enough. Alright, but that's fine. Yep, Paul Courageous. Oh, it just party! So let's put. Oh, it just. Okay. Firm. Reen returned to the Courageous and changed the party. Was that strictly necessary? Oh well. Um. First, let's see what's going on here. Something we can actually do. <laughs> but Terry! Your cargo, right? Machius's, uh, friend? I know you put in a request for help, but what are you doing all the way out here in Legram? Did something happen? What you think happened? A bunch of noble soldiers came busted into the Ost district. And that got us real salty, so we gave them some of the old babang kapow! But then they got mad at us and turned the tables. They wouldn't give up either, but then Batiri... Batiri... Damn it! If I parse that correctly, it sounds like he really needs our help with... Something. And I guess Patiri's in trouble? Allow me to translate. The patrolling soldier's arrogance irritated him and Patiri greatly. In response, they tried setting traps for them using boxes and drum cans in an effort to drive them away. Naturally, this did not go according to plan, as anyone with half a brain would expect. Machius! The hell are you doing here? I don't need a dork like you to help me sort this out! I can do it just fine on my own! Of course. I can tell from the tears streaming down your face that you're off to a flying start. Machius, I have no idea how you turned what he just said into what you just said, but I'm impressed. Right? Something tells me, like... Like, something tells me a, a little bit of, like, a... I don't know, maybe a prequel comic book? It, it would only even have to be, like, six or seven pages. But something detailing Machius' past growing up with these people would be very colorful, I'm assuming. Huh. I wasn't aware that you spoke delinquent. Fortunately for me, I've had to put up with the two of them for a long time now. 
you pick up some things after a while. I'm fairly sure I know how the rest of this story goes, too. When the traps failed to have their intended effect, the soldiers gave chase. As they ran, Cargo and Pateri lost sight of one another, which led to their current quandary. Yeah, that's right! We were running from him, but then Batiri told me to go on ahead! We were supposed to meet up here, but she still hasn't shown! <laughs> Pateri! Well, at least we finally got to the bottom of what happened. Would this mean that soldiers did capture her after all? It wouldn't be a surprise with how heavily guarded the capital is. I'd save your concern. Those two always defy expectations. Don't take a word they say at face value. What's that supposed to mean? What is that supposed to mean, Machias? Cargo, we should make a few things clear. You two definitely specified Legram as the town to meet up in, correct? That's what I said, didn't I? I mean, we were kind of panicking at the time with all the soldiers chasing us and all. But Patiri took out a map and pointed right at the part where Legram is. She said we were meeting at a tiny little place in the boonies where no soldiers would ever even care to enough to find us. You shouldn't talk about the town like that right in front of all of its residents. So Laura would have been interesting to have right there then. Way to show your appreciation. Still, if they were using a map, how could there be any mistake? They're both Erebonians, so it's not likely they'd end up in different towns. One more question, Cargo. Were you both on the same side of the map when you were doing this? Or were you on opposite sides facing one another? Huh. Yeah, we were facing each other, so what? Have you worked something out, Machias? I think so. When they agreed on their destination, one of them was looking at the map upside down. I doubt she ever mentioned Legram. She probably pointed to part of the map and said, here. They probably didn't even realize how much of a misunderstanding it would cause. Interesting. So Batiri was actually wanting them to meet up in a completely different place, and it's Cargo who got it wrong? <laughs> Very impressive. I won't even ask if your deductive reasoning is the result of pure logic or past trauma. Good. You're the last person I need on my back when I'm dealing with these two. Still, if that's the case, then Batiri's gone off to an entirely different town. You should look for a town that fits her description and is on the opposite side of the capital from Legram. Good thing we have the courageous. Okay, we're off to find Batiri. Any objections, Cargo? Did you work something out? What are you wasting time here for, then? If you find her, let me know right away! You better promise! We will, we will! Just stay away from me, you're getting snot everywhere! Quest Badass and Danger started. Well, alright. So on the opposite side... Yeah, we can knock this out right now. Jump back onto the Courageous. See whatever's opposite of... Um, like Ram. Where do you want to go? Uh, so did Patiri go to Ymir then? Full speed ahead. Oh, it's a different animation. Oh, because we're not directly over top of Legram. I get it. And then if we're correct, then Patiri should be hanging around somewhere around here. Uh... There she is! Come on, spit it out! Where'd you hide cargo? I know you did it! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it! Wait, who's cargo? Is that Patiri? Uh, well, I'm glad we found her, but I can't believe she actually ended up here. Looks like my theory was right on the mark. Well, anyway. Hey, Patiri? Could you please stop causing problems for strangers? Machias? The hell are you doing here, huh? It's not like I actually care, but it's nice to see your stupid face. I suppose. She's acting a bit... odd. Oh well. I'm glad to see that you're well too. But seriously, what were you thinking trying to pick a fight with the army? We all heard, uh, we heard all about what happened. No good can come from worrying people so much, you know. What? Look who's talking! Pardon? 
You've got no idea how worried Ost was when we heard you were wanted by the army. For all we freaking knew, you were dead in a gutter somewhere. And then Uncle Carl ended up getting arrested on top of it all. Why do you think we started picking fights in the first place? We were scared. We were pissed off. We were... We were... Whatever. It was better for us to do it than letting some amateurs try their luck. So that's what really happened. Sorry, I had no idea that was the case. I'm sorry for worrying you all so much. You should be saying that to everyone back home, not me! Anyway, that idiot Cargo said he was gonna meet me here ages ago, but he still hasn't shown up. So you're gonna help me look for him? Oh, right, I almost forgot. So she really did intend for them to meet here. Although there's no way to tell who was in the wrong now. This whole affair is so ridiculous, I'm not sure it even matters at this point. What, you guys know something? You better not have him tied up somewhere, cause if you do... Let's say we bring him here before she accuses us of anything else. Pateri, dude. She's spirited, that's for sure. They flew the Courageous of Legram to pick up cargo, then brought him back to Ymir. Pateri! Cargo! Ugh! Ah! What the hell have you been all this time? I was freaking out like crazy, you damn pipsqueak! Where the heck was I? Where the heck were you? Ultra headlock time! Ah! Well, hey. It's just, who are these people? Well, they're, uh, refugees from Heimdall. I really am sorry for all the trouble she's caused. I know this is a lot to, uh, uh, this is a lot to ask, but would it be possible for them to stay in Ymir until the situation improves there? Well, sure. They're not how I pictured people from Heimdall to be, but sure. Wow, check it out! There's a really warm-looking pond over there! Uh... Watch it, loser! That's clearly a trap! Ain't no way anyone would put something that nice smack dab in the middle of town! Wow, you're right! You're so smart, Patiri! Yeah, these jokers! You can imagine how... <laughs> you can imagine how much of a handful they were for Maki as growing up! If you'll excuse me, I'm going to go have a quick word with them so they don't go causing any more trouble. Must be tough being you, Machias. <laughs> I'd like to think we all had our fair share of challenges this time. Still, I suppose all's well that ends well. Okay. Quest Badass in Danger completed. Received Bunny Watch as a reward. Alright. So now we can skedaddle. Go ahead and return to the Courageous. And this time... Choose Destination. Oh, uh, we are going to go back... Uh, the Proving Grounds, and then the Gram. The red exclamation points must mean that there are, um, students there that we can potentially recruit. But this time, um, we've got Fee. We're probably just about to find out more about Lind, but yeah, we're gonna need her. Uh, that's all good, though. I was so tired. Okay. Okay, yep. Fee. This isn't you. Fee? You're the kind of person who loves causing trouble and pulling pranks on everyone. Like Edel, me, Lynn, even Reen sometimes. You skip classes and even your club meetings, pretend to be Lynn to embarrass her and anyone who gets involved. But in the end, you always leave everyone with a smile on their face. Works with the flowers, too. They always look so happy whenever you take care of them. <laughs> so sitting here alone, praying for someone to solve your problems for you, isn't you. Nobody would be able to stop the Vivi I know from running out and finding Lind herself. Fee's right. And as it so happens, we're flying the Courageous all over Erebonia now. I can't guarantee you'll find her, but if you come with us, there's a chance you'll be, uh, you'll hear something about where she might be. So what do you say? Are you willing to lend us a hand? You guys... Of course I will! I don't know what's gotten into me lately! 
But if anyone should go out there and hunt her down, it's gotta be me! Sisters need to look out for each other, right? Bingo. Welcome to the team, Vivi. <laughs> Thanks. You're awfully lucky. It's not every day Erebonia's loveliest lady joins a ragtag band of adventurers like you. So we've got our first actual recruit. Vivi was welcomed aboard the Courageous. And so that was significantly easy. All we had to do was have the right person on our party. Next, we're going to go to the Proving Ground, though, because uh, Monica should be... As long as we've got Laura in our party, Monica should be just as easy to convince. Oh. Let's just party. Uh, and then, yeah. These two should be fine. And now we can go back to the Courageous itself, and then have good old acting Captain Toa... But we will report that request. Or I guess they're just quests now, so... Yeah. Let's skip those. Um, nah, I like reporting them all at the same time, so... Oh, Vivi was taken off! Huh. Slide along Gorelia By Road. Alright. Next thing's next, the Proving Ground. Where do you want to go? Uh, Gorelia Fortress Ruins. We can use that to get to the by road, actually. Oh, Rex. What's up, dude? Oh, sup, guys. Long time no see. Rex? This is the last place I thought I'd find you. But they told us Rex was here. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it, but I've been following the Imperial Army around and getting close-up photos of the war. But I hear the stuff you guys have been getting up to is even crazier. I don't know if I'd say we've been doing it. Uh, what we've been doing is any crazier than getting photos on a battlefield. Sounds like you've been putting in a lot of legwork. Anyway, given that we just so happen to run into each other, and you know what we're doing, want to join the Courageous? Me? On the Courageous? Seriously? I've heard worse ideas. The more the merrier. Hmm. You really know how to tempt a guy. But nah, I'll pass. Maybe another day. Why? Nah. What do you mean, nah? Look, I put a lot of thought in what I can do to help this country when it's slowly sinking into hell like this. Then I realized, I'm a cameraman. With all the media control, I'm one of the few people who can capture the truth of this war. You know what? Rex, not, uh, Rex is not wrong. And I can do that way better on the battlefield next to the army and the RMP than I could on the Courageous. Sorry. I see. Hmm. Never expected you to be acting like such a noble-minded professional. You've clearly given your choice a lot of consideration. I respect that. Cool. We done here? Good luck with your stuff, though. It's been neat to follow. I'll be doing my thing down on the ground. Alright then, just don't get too gutsy out there on the battlefield. So Rex is uh, not one of the people that we can actually recruit then. That's all fine. Sure has been busy around here lately. No sooner does one operation wrap up than another one's just about ready to go. I'm getting, uh, I'm getting by though. It helps that I've got a list of good meals you can eat with one hand as you work. This is one of my favorites. Why not try making some for yourself? Received tomato burger. Not the recipe though. Oh well. Let's see if we can get a, a little bit of a recruitment going on. But that's. I didn't expect for us to not be able to recruit every single member of Class 7. We're probably going to make a second sweep for anybody who declines the first time, and that's okay. Oh, these guys. All three of them, though? Oh, Elliot! Did you see my request? Whoops. Sure did, Dad. You want us to help you find a missing civilian, right? Although it looks as though you're busy with a meeting. Should we come back a little later? Please, don't hold back on our account. We're certainly busy, but that's all the more reason to get this taken care of. He's right. It was because we don't have the time to handle it ourselves that we called you to begin with. What's more, wasn't it your platoon who took that civilian in to begin with, Gaul? Yes, sir. My men are in charge of patrolling the area and taking any civilians found wandering it into our safe custody. The one we called you here about was found wandering the highway a few days ago. After that, he remains in base camp without causing trouble. 
until this morning when he simply disappeared. We haven't the faintest clue where he is. As I said earlier, we don't have the time to look for him. But even so, we can't very well sit back and twiddle our thumbs. That was why we chose to call on you. I see. Sounds like the perfect job for us. Yep, fits us to a T. My thoughts exactly. As such, I'd like to entrust the task to you if you're willing. So, how about it? Hmm. Uh... We'd like to help, but we have some other pressing business at the moment. Yeah, we're gonna do the non-essential requ requests first, and then come back to him. Really? That's a shame. If you do find the time, feel free to come back and speak to me again. Alright. Where? Because, uh, Monica and Tabitha have to be somewhere. But where are they? Okay, the Proving Ground's over here. These? Okay, that's just All a regular right. rifle. Onward! Oh, and this okay. guy too, but um, this was the radio enthusiast, Monk. Ugh, no matter where I look, I can't find a thing. Why won't this war hurry up and fizzle out already? Hey, Monk, still here, I see. Oh, it's you guys. Nice to see that you're all happy and healthy. Nice to see you're alive, at least. Anyway, <laughs> we've got something to ask you. Right now, we're trying to gather up Academy students to help us fight aboard the Courageous, so we were wondering... Nope, not in the mood. Not right now, anyway. As you know, I'd normally jump at the chance. We all know how much material it'd give me. But there's nothing but news on the radio these days. So what's the point of sending a material? Who'll read it? Why even look? Oh, sure. We'll give you some space then. Oh well. That seems like a pretty Good. random reason to, to, to push us off, but whatever. We've got Monica who will join us up, and hopefully Tabitha too. Do we get lucky enough with both of them being here? We do not. We do not. Laura? And the rest of Class 7 too! I've been looking forward to seeing you again for quite some time now, Monica. I'm so glad to see you're safe and sound. Same to you! I've been so worried all this time! But I'm happy to see you were able to find the rest of your classmates. Yeah, we all finally got back together in Legram not too long ago, actually. But we didn't come to tell you that. There's actually something we wanted to ask you. Reen explained that they were looking for other Thor students to fight on the Courageous alongside them. Me? Fight as part of the Courageous's crew? Um, I'm glad you took the time to come out and find me, but I can't imagine I'd prove all that useful to you. I may be a military academy student, but I'm not exactly an actual brawler, especially compared to you, Laura. You don't have to take up a sword and come fight with us, though. Reen's right. Even in the military, not every soldier stands on the front lines with a gun in hand. Success comes from all kinds of people making the most of their talents to strengthen the group as a whole. And speaking personally, having you with us would really put me at ease, allowing me to fight my very best. Well... I have picked up some skills helping out with the cooking and other, uh, some other basic tasks here at the camp. I don't know how much that knowledge will really help you, but I'll do all I can to lend a hand with that, well, whatever needs doing on board. I look forward to having you on our side, Monica. Godlike, a second one. <laughs> Glad to have you along. All right, Monica was welcome to board the Courageous. So now we've got Vivi, we've got Monica, and with, um, nobody else sh really showing up for us here, Tabitha... Okay, yeah, Tabitha probably also is non-recruitable, so, uh... Let's go ahead and jump out onto the by road. Alright. Uh, I guess we can't just go directly over there, then. Hmm. Proving ground... Crossbell, so close yet so far, dude! It's my turn. Onward. It's my turn. Here I go. This is kind of nostalgic in a in a weird sort of way. Of course, back when this place wasn't absolutely blasted out. Um. Yeah. I. It's kind of weird. There there had to have been people who like died in the blast, right? This should be the Gorelia by road. Yep. Now which. Okay. I wonder... I mean, let's hit up the Terra Shrine just to see if it'll let us back into it. 
Because we still haven't... We're still missing the... um. No, we got the Aqua Shrine, the Terra Shrine, the Aria Shrine. Whatever the equivalent to the... Uh, Carnelia Tower is supposed to be. We haven't seen that just yet. Where else could I even... The Carnelia Tower equivalent must be near Heimdall or something. It doesn't really make much sense otherwise for it to just not be anywhere. Oh! Did it get... Are we too strong for the monsters around here now? Maybe... Well, Selene's not in the party because we don't have uh, Emma with us, so... It's that ruin we saw a while back. I'm curious, but we don't really have time to take a look around. Let's keep going. Okay, yeah, I figured we'd have no real reason to go in there, so let's just look around for those upperclassmen. There they are. All right. Thank you, map system. Seriously, the map may as well be another party member, dude. It makes life so much easier. Yep, and then this thing should run away from us as well. There they are. Wait, Nicholas and Emily? He's a cooking club... Nicholas is a cooking club member. Emily, I don't remember. Oh, now here are some familiar faces. Whoa, it's class seven. I'm glad we finally found you two. Long time no see, Ring. What are you guys doing here? Well, both parties exchanged information. You guys have certainly been busy. You're being that ash-colored knight. Uh, you're behind that ash-colored knight everyone keeps talking about? <laughs> Figures. Class Seven's always been pulling off crazy stuff like that thingy. <laughs> We're not that bad. You've been setting up those transmission relay devices, right? Yeah, we've been using them to gather intel. I have to say, though, getting by with the bare minimum of ingredients while doing it has been a struggle. So he says, but we've been having fine dining pretty much every day thanks to his amazing cooking skills. I'm practically eating better than when I was cooking for myself at Thor's. <laughs> You flatter me. Oh, yeah, we actually met Teresia while we were in Berea Hard. Uh, was that the girl who was working at, um, working in the stores? Teresia? Hmm. She was pretty worried about you. Oh no, we saw her, she was sitting alone, I think, in the upper, um, in like the upper floor of a s store. It was more like a shopping mall actually, but. So she managed to get home safely then? Phew. I'll have to pay her a visit soon. If you need help with that, we'd be glad to help make it happen. Though it may be a while before we set foot in Berea hard again. How about it? Wanna come aboard? As much as I'd love to give you an instant yes, I can't, I'm sorry. We've still got some business to take care of first. Well, you kinda caught us while we were getting ready to set up some relay devices around here. This is the last place on our list actually, so we shouldn't be long. Would you mind waiting until we're done? Oh, I see. Hmm. Helping this, uh, helping them out with this might make life easier for all of us. Okay, so this is a request we can actually participate in. Yeah. We might as well help out since we're already here, right? Not to mention things will go much quicker if we divide up the work. Are you sure? <laughs> Thanks! That'd honestly be a huge help. Here you go, Reen. This is your batch. Relay device times six. Huh, they're smaller than I expected. Well, yeah, they're designed to be attached to orbit lights. Okay, so that's what we're gonna have to be on the lookout for then. We have George to thank for these handy little guys. His handiwork's as impressive as ever. Huh, George is always knocking out of the park. We'll leave you in charge of setting them up on the lights around this area. Try to set them a roughly equal distance apart. We'll set our batch up on the road that runs parallel to the Transcontinental Railroad. Then we'll meet you back here once we're done. Sound okay? Understood. Let's get to it then. We should remain wary that we don't get caught off guard by monsters while setting these up too. Okay. I think we can make that happen. Yep. Six. Okay. So we're gonna have to do these. Um, there's only two on this particular stretch of road, so. We'll head down here first. Um, what are we on? Borrelia by road one. Okay, that's fine. There's Gorelia Byro 2, and then... There is no Gorelia Byro... Oh, we walked right past it! Whoops. 
Well, at the we can start back here, I guess. Yep. And then, okay, Gorelia Forge is ruined. So there are three back here. Um, let's, yeah, get this. Let's start with this one. Reen opened up the security panel and placed the relay device inside it. That should probably be it, so let's move on to the next one. All right. Up. Oh, as soon as I, there we go. Okay. Well, it's not like... Oh, roughly an equal distance apart. Okay. So we can't just set them up on any orbit light we pass, but that's okay. We keep an eye on... As long as we keep an eye on our mini-map, we'll know where the optimal places are. Relay device inside it. Two down. We're making good progress. Right before we put in the last one, though, we are definitely going to save. This quest has You're Gonna Get Jumped at the End of It written all over it. That should be the last one right there. The monsters making way for us is a very, very nice change of pace. All right. Relay device inside. Halfway done now. Yep. And from here, we can uh, just run all, all the way back up. There's... There must be just one, because there are only two in the next stretch of the Gorelia by road. So then we've got to go up in order to place it on the last one, but... We gotta save. Make sure that there's no randomness. Well, you know, yeah, we'll probably be good. We'll probably be good. As long as we believe in ourselves that we can handle whatever it's about to throw at us and we don't get insta-game over, I'm not anticipating any issues. Especially not with anything that we, uh, we'd be taking on here, like... Well... Hmm. Instructor Sarah's level 77, so I'm assuming they think... Uh, well, I'm assuming level 77, that's probably not overkill, but probably about what we're going to end up at. And I guess if things go really badly, four down, two to go. We can actually just switch her in, but right now, this uh, this team that, we've, that we're rolling with is going to be pretty good. And then the next one should be up here. I wonder, I wonder what Elise is doing right now. Now we just need to place the last one. Like, they made it sound like she was being, like, the royal family's butler or something. Or, oh, there's a third one right there. I just missed it. That's on the way to the Twin Dragon's Bridge, so. Okay, guys. They're made, not, not their butler. There we go. All done. Time to head back to the meeting place. Really? No getting jumped by a monster at the end of that? That's actually the most surprising bit of this. Okay, yep, they're all the way over there. That's why we couldn't see it. How much is... It's only been like... It's been like two weeks in-game since the start, right? You've gotten quite a lot done, dude. Oh, well. It's all part of being Class 7, that's for sure. And then a swing past here. We need more blue chests, though, especially now that we can, um, we got everybody in the party. Hey, welcome back. Guess if you're here, you're all done? Indeed. And the same goes for you? Yeah. Did you run into any trouble? Surprisingly not. Nope. We got all six of them set up fine. Changing orbman lights is a pretty common job for a bracer. I could probably do it in my sleep. Now the question is whether we set them up correctly or not. No need to worry about that, actually. We've already run a transmission test and everything checked out. We're good to go. Well, that wasn't too difficult. Does that mean you're ready to board the Courageous, then? <laughs> Count us in! Things will be a cinch now that you've got the Blazing Maiden on board. Yeah, I don't remember what Emily is specifically, or club she's from. I'll be sure to pull my weight so we can get around to picking up Teresia and Ferris, too. Oh, okay. So Emily was part of the lacrosse club, then. <laughs> I can't deny that making food on the Courageous has me pretty excited. I'll make sure that everyone on board gets the best meals I can provide. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Emily, Nicholas. Cool. Emily and Nicholas were welcome to board the Courageous. Well, return to Courageous. And uh, who is next? Student information. 
Mint Casper Clara. So apparently we can recruit Casper. Sighted at the ancient quarry in the North Highlands. Okay. Beryl. I called Beryl Tabitha a bit earlier. I don't know why. Beryl is who I was talking about. Let's go ahead and head to... Oh, choose destination. I kind of want to go to Nord last. So... Well... Where do you want to go? We kind of have to go there at this point. Nord, Watchtower, Lake Lacrima, the Ancient Quarry. Okay, we're going to have to get to the Ancient Quarry the old-fashioned way then. That's fine. Oh! Whoops! Wait. Hold on. Sighted at the Watchtower, but she was at Zinder Gate, wasn't she? Quest. Without leave, a civilian has vanished. Find our first years... Recruited Vivi for the Courageous' crew, recruited Monica for the Courageous' crew. Uh... We have to find out how to get Casper back on our team some sort of way. Hmm. We've already read the thing. Okay, well I guess I have to think about that a little bit more. And then Monster Madness, which we can definitely handle. Mint, okay. She is randomly here. Whatever. Oh! Hiya, guys! Hi, Mint. Glad to see you're still keeping well. What did you come all the way over here from Zender Gate for, though? Oh, I came to help fix stuff up. The Noble Alliance wasn't very careful when it was using all the machinery here, so a lot of it's been acting up. I'm all done with that now, though. She's good with technology? I'm genuinely impressed. The only thing I remember was her worrying after her uncle all the time. Sometimes I forget that you really are Instructor Makarov's niece. Huh. Everyone has at least one redeeming feature, I suppose. <laughs> it was easy peasy. Wow. She's just going to totally ignore that dig at her from Uses. But I guess you can't really respond to it because they have to account for anybody being in the party, so. But eh, forget all that. What are you guys doing here? Well, actually... Reen explained that they were traveling around in search of other Thor students to fight alongside them. You're flying the Courageous around? That's way cool! Sure, I'd love to come! That was easy. Um, not right now though. Of course not. Huh? How come? Well, I went and lost something super important, you see. I'm supposed to be trying to find it as we speak, but there's no sign of it anywhere. But until I found it, there's no way I can leave. Something important? We could come back, but I'm pretty sure it'll be found faster if we help her look. Yeah, let's help her search. Would you mind if we helped you look, Mint? Would you? Thank you! That'd be amazing! You must have an idea where you lost it, right? Any place we could start would help. Uh... Was it inside? Honestly, I'm hoping this isn't another search for my... Yep, it's inside. You lost it somewhere inside the building? It's awfully quiet. What happened to the other soldiers? Oh, I told them to stay out of the way so I can carry out my search, so they all went back to their rooms. That's what those rooms are for, then. They're probably still working, though, so I wouldn't worry about it. Right. Anyway, what exactly are you looking for? It's a wristwatch. Uncle Makarov gave me it when I enrolled at the Academy. I've had it with me ever since, mending it on my own whenever it broke. Really? Did it break that often? Finding lost property is probably the most calming job for bracers, so this should be a cinch. We've got quite a wide area to cover, but we'll just have to work our way through a little bit at a time. Could you focus on searching around here? We'll work our way upwards one floor at a time. Radio, Thanks a bunch! Okay, so Mint's gonna cover the ground floor and we'll get everything else? Maybe... Aha! So it's gonna show us specific spots that we can check then. That's all fine. Could this be? Green picked up the shining object off the floor. Nope, it's just some iron fillings. Oh well, back to searching. Okay, so we've got a bunch of these that we can check. It's probably not going to be at the very top. But yeah, there's no reason not to check. Oh. Interesting. 
We can see even the faded ones. Is it in here? Hey, I think I see something in the duct. Reen reached inside and grabbed the shining object. It's just the lid off some juice figures. Somebody just chucked that in there? Hmm. Alright, okay, there's the first room that we can check. I wonder... Well, at the time, I wasn't very used to any of how this worked, so I wouldn't be surprised if it was... We can't... Oh, uh, well, you can't not destroy those. Huh. Oh, that looks promising. Reen took the shining object from on top of the shelf. It's a... coin? Maybe it's from the casino in Heimdall? Either way, it's of no use to me. Better put it back. Yep, nowhere to go but up. But, I guess... She said soldiers, so I guess these are ally soldiers? No reason to be, like, slashing stuff up with our blade? They really are going to make us run all the way to the top of this thing, aren't they? Here we go. That couldn't be it, could it? Reen took the shining object from on top of the container. Nope, it isn't. This is just some scrap metal. Guess I might as well throw it away. Okay, there's a duct still. Nothing we're really worried about. Another room that we can check. Where are the people who are supposed to be working in these things? What's this? It's a signed picture of a pinup girl. This must belong to one of the soldiers. Let's put it back. Well, we've explored everywhere in the building where it could possibly be, but no dice. Yeah, there's no sign of it anywhere. You're certain we haven't missed the spot. Hmm, the only other place that I could think of is... I can only think of the rooftop where the jammer was. Can't hurt to take a look around there. I wonder if that was a pinup of Rixia Mao. She must have more than one Erebonian fan. Yep. As soon as I stop walking into walls and stuff. Yeah, they're gonna make us scale the entirety of this freaking building! Oh well. Maybe this is where we get jumped for a fight? It'd be about time for us to be able to, like, stretch our legs. Shining objects. Nope, just a bird flying around. Ah, uh, well, we've come all the way up. But I'm pretty sure if it was on the roof, we would have spotted it already. Did anyone else see some sort of glint? I believe it's coming from up there. Um... Maybe Zeo can tag in? Oh, it did it again! It has to be! I think it may very well be. I sure wasn't expecting to find it all the way up there. <laughs> up there. How she managed to make it, uh, to get it lost there of all places? Who knows? Now we just need to get it. Well, at least we found the thing. They informed the soldiers of the watch's location and were able to successfully recover it from the antenna. After doing so, they of course returned it to its rightful owner. There you go. I can't believe you really found it! Thank you so much! <laughs> You're welcome. How the heck did it get attached to the antenna of all things? Oh! Maybe it got caught while I was doing maintenance on it. Whoopsie, silly me. <laughs> you really are a klutz. What a waste this ridiculous scavenger hunt turned out to be. Well, at least we found it in the end. So, would you be willing to come with us on the Courageous now? You can count on me. And don't you worry, with me on the job, this war will be over and everything will be right as pain in no time. Uh... I'm suddenly feeling very nervous. Well, hey. Mint was welcome to board the Courageous. So she's good with technical stuff. Oh. oh. You've got a monster to fight here, too. Where, um... Wait. The, riding the motorcycle is probably going to be way quicker than riding the uh, horses. Oh, that should be fun. Oh, we've got to talk to the, um, to the guys at Lake Lakrima first. That's one of the main requests, though. I don't know if we want to do that just yet. 
Yeah. Oh, I guess we've been working on one of the main ones. Vivi. Up. Oh. Vivi, Casper, Mint, Monica. How do we... Okay, well, let's go back to Lieutenant General Craig and get that one done, then. Gonna have to think on that. Up. Oh. Just have to hit the right buttons. Yep. Return to Courageous. And then we can go back to the Proving Grounds and help find this civilian. Gorelia Fortress Ruins, nope. Leave it to me! Um... He said he already gave us the skinny on it, pretty much. Rex, yep, he opted not to come with us. All right, Lieutenant General Craig, now we can look for your missing person, dude. We are ready to assist. We don't have the time to look for him. Yep, twiddle our thumbs. Accept. I don't think this is something we could ignore in good conscience, so we'd be happy to accept. Excellent. I'll leave finding him to you, then. It's possible that someone here in the camp may have seen him leave. Perhaps asking around may be a good place to start? That sounds like a good idea. Thanks, Captain! Other than that, I'll leave it to you to decide how best to approach this. But if the Provincial Army decides to attack, withdraw to safety immediately. Understood? Yes, sir! Quest without leave started. Alright. We've only got a couple of people that we can check with. One being this guy. You're looking for the civilian who was here, I believe? I hope his sudden disappearance doesn't confirm the suspicions I had about him being a spy. I'm not sure there's much evidence pointing in that direction right now. But either way, do you remember when you last saw him? Just this morning, actually. He was standing off in the corner of the camp muttering to himself. Couldn't make out what he was saying, but it seemed like he was looking for someone. That doesn't give us much to go on that would prove helpful in finding him. But at least it's something. He was standing in the corner this... Whoa! That guy didn't have a thing next to his head when we walked by him initially, did he? You're looking for the civilian who was here, sirs? He spent most of his time wandering around the camp always struck me as a man who would inadvertently stumble into trouble. Really? You wouldn't happen to have any idea where he could be now, would you? I'm afraid not. I wish I could be a little more helpful. Alright then, thank you for your time. We can head over here next. So, he was wandering around, seemed to be like kind of stuck in his own head. There we go. I was like, who the heck? You're looking for a young man who's in camp at the moment. Yes, he does come here from time to time. He always seems so sad. I tried to strike up a conversation with him this one time thinking it'd cheer him up. And it did too. He went out seeming all cheerful and motivated afterward. Sounds like we're dealing with a pretty simple-minded guy here, doesn't it? You wouldn't happen to know where he might be now, would you? Sorry, but I'm afraid not. We don't have too much to go on then. Yeah. This? I'm wondering if this is supposed to be... Like, I'm, I'm racking my brain trying to figure if this is somebody who we've met previously or if it's going to be a completely new character, but... Hmm. I don't know. You're looking for a civilian, right? Hmm. Yes, he did come around every time we were serving a meal. He seemed kind of pitiable, really. Spilled the soup a few times and always gave this odd, insincere smile when he did. Oh, right. Do you remember when you last saw him around? This morning's breakfast, actually. Haven't seen him since, but who knows when he'll pop in again. Alright, well, thanks for your time. Not much like here, either. An, an, an odd, insincere smile. That, this person sounds extremely fishy. That was a tough job. Oh, I wasn't expecting to find you here, Elliot. <laughs> Hi, would you mind if we asked you something? After confirming it was okay, they asked Sergeant Major Emmons if he had seen the civilian. 
Oh, he's missing, is he? I did actually see him roughly an hour ago. Really? Where did you see him? He was heading in the direction of the fortress. I couldn't tell you more than that, though. What would he be doing there? Indeed. I can't imagine what business a civilian would have in the ruins of a fortress. It seems our destination is set. Yeah, let's go after him. Thank you for the information, sir. Oh, it was nothing. Best of luck finding him. They seem pretty blasé about this guy having wandered around their military base and then disappearing. I think he was some sort of spy. Okay, yep, this is gonna turn out to be somebody important. What if it was G? Like Gideon showed back up out of nowhere. How wild would that be? This is all that's left of Gorilla Fortress? It's a shocking sight. It's not as though we had any real personal attachment to this fortress, but to see this happen to it. Whatever weapon Crossbell used, it defies human comprehension. Still, this is no time to be feeling overwhelmed by the scenery. We need to focus on finding that missing civilian. How about we start by combing this area? There's a whole lot of ground to cover, but we're just gonna have to get on with it. Yep, that's the attitude of a bracer. Hmm? I feel like I just sense something strange. Maybe it was just my imagination? Uh... Gonna be any... There it is. Our good old good luck charm. The exclamation point telling us exactly where to go. But yeah, this is definitely going to turn out to be some... somebody. Not a nobody, but definitely a somebody. Who though? Oh! Hmm? Oh, you're those Thor students. What are you doing here? We could come under attack at any time. I'd suggest you hurry back to base camp where it's safe. Actually, we're here looking for someone. They told the soldiers about the missing civilian and asked if they had seen him. A missing civilian? Sorry, doesn't ring a bell. We just came back from patrolling the by road. Didn't see anyone there at the very least. That could mean he's somewhere in the fortress after all. Let's keep up the search. Thank you both for your assistance. Okay, so it was just a pair of dudes. Hmm. But now there's somebody all the way over there? Maybe somebody who got displaced by whatever's going on in Crossbell? Hmm. It feels really like... I remember when everybody, like... Yep. Whoever that is, it's probably our Joker. But people cannot stop talking about Crossbell. Who is this? No, this is just some guy. Uh, I can't find him anywhere. I even came all the way to this scary looking place to find him. Who is that? He's just... Kinda wandering? Ricky! Where are you? Oh! It's the, um... Uh, the Love Quest duo! <laughs> if you're there, say something! Could this be? Yeah, I think this is our guy. Wait, he actually looks kind of familiar. Yeah, he's one half of the Love Quest duo! Huh? Who are you? Wait, I know you! You're those students who helped me out a few months back! Come on, don't tell me you forgot me! You came to my aid when I was all lost by Orox Fort! I remember now. That was back during our field study at Bereahard. Your name's Anton, right? From LaBurl? We saw him in a few other places too. I guess he hasn't been home to LaBurl since? We should probably ask him what he's doing here. Still a love question. Well, if he's lost Ricky, then Ricky probably took up the love quest on his own. So you came here looking for a friend you were separated from just before the war broke out? Yeah. Ricky went to Heimdall on an, uh, all on his own. And right after that, it got occupied by the Alliance. I've been all over the place looking for him, even to Heimdall Station, but I can't find him anywhere. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Ricky. If only I'd gone with you. I see. That is quite worrying. 
Yeah. I know as well as anyone what it feels like to not know where your loved ones are. Elise. It's really scary seeing what's going on over in Crossbell. <laughs> the last girl to win my heart is still there too. Okay, so they did travel around Crossbell for a bit. Oh, Fran, please be okay. So I don't know who Fran is, but... You may have turned me down, but I'll never forget your beautiful smile. Well, regardless, now we know what you're doing here. I still don't think you should be coming to places this dangerous without some type of permission, though. This area could become a battleground at a moment's notice. We should get you back to base camp. I suppose you're right. I can't say I like this place very much anyway. And it's not like I'm gonna find Ricky here, so I don't mind coming with you. We'd appreciate that. Let's report back to the Lieutenant General. Alright. Wait. Is this how we get here? Huh. But are we gonna have a fight on our hands or something? Oh! That, uh... That seems like it bears investigating. Anton is resting in the mess hall at the moment. He's been warned not to cause any more trouble, so he should be, uh, should hopefully behave from now on. I see. You've all done a fine job. Agreed. I couldn't be more pleased with the results. And it sounds as though you didn't find him a moment too soon. What do you mean? We received a report of an unidentifiable large monster appearing not long ago. Inside Gorelia Fortress, no less. That's what that is, then. Unidentifiable? Is it some new species? It must have only just appeared, too, because we didn't see anything like that when we were there. Correct on both accounts. In truth, this isn't the first time this has happened. We've been receiving reports of strange monsters appearing out of nowhere in various locations for several days now. Could they be cryptids? If their appearance really is due to the chaos in Erebonia becoming greater, could this be happening all over the country? That doesn't sound good. We would like to take care of the problem ourselves, but unfortunately we simply don't have the spare manpower. It pains me to leave them be, but leave no choice until the war se uh, situation has settled down to some degree. This is just one more reason Erebonia has become an increasingly dangerous land. I suggest you remain vigilant if you intend to continue your travels. We'll be sure to do so, sir. Good. And lighter news, please take this as thanks for helping us today. Received Panzer Goggles. What you've done was only possible because you chose to remain neutral. We'll be counting on you if anything else should come up. We'll be happy to help. Feel free to get in touch if you ever need us. Alright. Quest without leave completed. So, Ricky and Anton have been separated, huh? Huh, <sighs> oh well. We're gonna go ahead, fight these monsters, get the rest of these requests done, figure everything out as far as Casper goes. That's all gonna be next time, though, so definitely join me then for more Trails of Cold Steel 2. Bye for now, guys.